Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to install a whole house filter um, for your home. Now, the first thing you have to decide before we're even at the installation stage is what size of filter housing you want to install. So there's two things that determine the size. One is flow, and the second is how much product you want to remove from the water. Um, it's capacity of the filter inside. So if it's a situation where it's a, it's a cottage application, where it's seasonal, you're just there from time to time, and you only have one bathroom, then you're fine to get by with something like this, which is a 10 inch slimline filter. That will likely give you enough capacity and it won't restrict the flow very much. So that you're in good shape there. If you're looking at a bigger cottage situation or a year round home with half or three quarter inch plumbing, up to three bathrooms, then a 10 inch big blue like this is a great application. It doesn't re restrict the flow and you've got lots of capacity in the filter inside, okay? Then if you're looking at something larger, four bathrooms or more, one inch plumbing, or there's a lot of sediment in your water and, you've, and you wanna make sure that you're not changing the filter on a monthly basis, you wanna change it less often. Then going to something like this, which is a 20 inch big blue housing, will definitely be the way to go. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a 10 inch big blue housing, and this is the most common one we end up using in most of our applications. So what you wanna think about is where this is gonna be located. So you're gonna be cutting the plumbing after the pressure tank, but before the water splits into hot and cold, so that you're filtering all the water, obviously, to the hot and the cold. So in terms of deciding on a location, you wanna pick somewhere um, where you're gonna install this, where you can uh, attach it to the wall. So again, you put a piece of plywood on the wall so that you can lag bolt this uh, bracket that holds the weight of the filter housing, which of course will be full of water and full of filter, which becomes quite heavy, securely fasten it to the wall. The other thing you have to think about is which way the water is flowing. So in this application, the water is flowing from right to left. So this would be the inlet on this side. And again, it's marked on the filter housing. And this is the outlet over here. So again, deciding on a location for this, you wanna make sure it's somewhere um, where when you change this filter in the future, there's gonna be quite a bit of water that spills out of here. So you wanna make sure there's not an electrical outlet underneath here, and you also wanna make sure that there's plenty of room to put a bucket underneath to capture that water. So, and you also wanna um, make sure that you plan somewhere that you've got room for the ball valves, because you definitely wanna put a ball valve on before, and you wanna put one on after, so that you can isolate this area to change the filter and you don't have all the water to, from the whole house draining back through here into your bucket and overflowing. So then when it comes time to do the actual installation, you're gonna shut off the water coming from the municipal water supply or from the, the pressure tank so that you can cut the plumbing, install these, um, these fittings, and uh, if you're doing any soldering, you wanna make sure you definitely don't do any soldering anywhere near the plastic because obviously that would melt it. So you wanna pre-assemble the soldered fittings before they go into here. You wanna make sure you use Teflon tape on any threaded fittings going into the, um, the filter housing. And uh, so then once you've cut the plumbing, you've installed all the, all the fittings, you've put it all together, you put the filter inside, you've run the water through, you flushed out the filter, make sure you check for leaks. And, uh, and then after that, you're good to go. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's lots of great videos on there and you'll be notified of all the new videos as they become available. Also, please like, share and comment. Uh, I really appreciate it on your social media. Uh, that would help spread the word about, uh, about Gary the Water Guy. And uh, again, it's Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.